we get, Tyler? Yes, sir. Oh, yes. And we just found another one. What do we got? It looks like a fishing well. Tyler's excited. When Tyler's excited, it means it's something good. What do we got, man? Ooh, what oh, is that? Oh, Nesbit? Oh, the milk. It's a bottle. There's a lid there. Oh, the mouse. Some. I think it's just a Coke though. Yep, just a Coke. Oh, Still a cool different. find. It's different. It's different. Is this an American one? Is it, it's I've still never, clear, it's, it's not green. It's just is it? different. Why is it's it different? A, the writing is completely different. Oh. Uh, is there a date or anything that you can see? Uh, sometimes it's on the side, sometimes it's on the bottom. Uh, 52. 52? But it's different writing. Mm. Like I'm, I've never seen that writing before. Well, maybe it's just me. Cause... Mm. All right, cool. Another Coca-Cola. 1952, Tyler says. All right. And a broken one. What did we get? Uh, Mountain Dew. Oh, yeah. We haven't found any, any uh, intact Mountain Dews yet, so that would have been nice. All right, let's keep digging for more. Let's go. Whoa, Dad. That yeah. looks really Art Deco. Art. <laughs> Tyler's excited. When Tyler's excited, it means it's something good. What do we got, man? Ooh, what oh, is that? Nesbit. Oh, Nesbit? Wicked, man. Oh, well, there you go. I don't have one. So there you go. Now I got one for my collection. Sweet. I'm happy with that find. Nesbit. Nice. Wicked, wicked. All right, I got this guy all cleaned up. It says Nesbits. And it says Nesbits of California. And then you turn it over. Nesbits. And it says Nesbits name on a soft drink is like Sterling something on silver uh, i can't really read a lot of that orange of canada it must be some kind of orange uh, orange soda bottle that is a cool looking bottle right there awesome nice. oh. wicked wicked all right we got a nesbit and then we found a, a little bit of a heartbreaker here tyler again on the way here tyler was saying he wants to get a freshka a look at we found a freshka but the top is knocked off it but hey, if there's one freshka, there's another one. Tyler's excited. So that Tyler is excited. Tyler is excited. What did we get, Tyler? It's sure. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. I think that's the freshka Tyler's been looking Wait, for, is it? That's Sprite. Oh, it's Sprite? Well, it hey, is, it's still it's, good it's, enough. It's, it's, it's good. It's, it's cool. <laughs> you can't go wrong cool. with a Sprite. Look at that. That's a pretty cool one, man. They cool. kinda, they Art kinda, Deco um, Sprite. They kind of make it like um, the normal Sprites nowadays. Oh. Those, those, like, um... Oh, I've yeah. never seen that before. Sprite. Wicked, man. That's we don't have one of these. That's, that's actually cool. And you're like all disappointed. You're like, oh, yeah, Sprite. I, I, thought, I thought it was... <laughs> I think it's pretty awesome. I like it. All right, guys. Yeah. Good, cleaned up. It's a nice looking soda bottle. That's for sure. The label's in good condition. That is pretty sweet. Oh, a little bit worn out there, but that's okay. Nice find. Nice find. All right. Now back to the video. I like it. Yeah, awesome. All I've right. never seen that. Yeah, that's a nice Sprite. Probably 1950s, I would think. Any yeah. date or... Wait, let me see. Check it out. Looks 1950s. Could be 60s. Doesn't have a date. No. Yeah, we'll just say it's 1950s. Wow, that's awesome. I'm pretty happy with that one. Yeah, that's nice. Even though you were disappointed, you didn't get your uh, Freshka? But I mean, still. Uh, still nice cool. find. I've never seen that before. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's keep okay. digging. found something else green. Extract. Ooh. Oh, it's oh. a tin label. It's... Yeah. Beer Probably a beer bottle. False alarm. Beer bottle. Where's that other bottle we found? We found a broken bellboy as well. Broken bellboy. Where's that brown one we found? Oh. Where'd you put that? Oh, yeah. What was it again? White hole. White hole? Yeah. White hole. All right. Okay, cool. False alarm. We thought that was going to be a soda. All right, let's keep digging. Yeah. And we just found another one. What do we got? It looks like a wishing well. Yeah. Wishing yeah. well. This is hard work, man. Wow. It doesn't say. Doesn't say. Probably nine, usually those are 1940s if it's embossed. This one's different. Every it's time different. we find one, it's always different. Yeah, style. Every year it'd be different. Different, I guess. All right, cool. Wishing well soda. We'll take All it. Right, I got this guy cleaned up. So it says wishing well drink. Wishing well drink. National Dry Limited contents 10 fluid ounce. That is a nice soda bottle. 19, oh, it says 16, 4, or 1642. It's 
probably 1942 is what I'm thinking. All right, that is a nice looking soda bottle right there. Wicked, pretty happy with that find. All right, now back to the video. Let's keep digging for more. Cool, wishing well soda. We'll take it. Love finding the embossed ones. Awesome. And then what else did we find? So we found a wishing well. What was this again? Uh, I don't know how to say it. I can't really read it anyway. It's like Menzen or something? Menin? 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 Probably like a cologne. That's probably what it is, a cologne bottle. There we go. Got some cologne. Why don't you just open it up and smell it? And then check out this. Look at that old plate. That's something else right there. That's old. That's definitely got some age to that. And find something like this to intact would be just spectacular. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. Awesome finds. Let's keep digging. Yeah, we're back. The, we're back the next day. Probing around. This isn't soda. Tyler says it's not soda. But it has writing on it. But it has writing on it. I don't know. What this is. <laughs> I don't know. Let me pop it out. Yeah. Here, let me get my shovel in there. Okay. Yeah, you get your shovel in there actually. Okay, now pull it out. Oh, oh the milk! milk. <laughs> We've never found a milk here. Store oh, store bottle. bottle. <laughs> All right. But that's so gonna turn out really good because there's not gonna be a single crack in it. Yeah. Just because of soil conditions. We find these guys at our other dump site. We've never found a milk here before. All right, well something different other than soda bottles every time. Let me see this store K bottle. Good that's for yeah. five cents. Why is that there? Yeah, store K bottle. Makes sense because. Good for five cents. Well, people back then drank milk. And, down and then they tossed it into the woods. Well, that's cool. Right, I got it cleaned up. It says good for five cents. Hard to see, but it says good for five cents. And the other side, it says store K bottle. All right, awesome. Love finding the old milk bottles. This is probably 1920s. All right, very cool. Let's keep digging around for more. Let's and go. And then they toss it into the woods. Well, that's cool. Didn't expect to find a milk today. We'll take it. All right, let's keep digging around for more. We've been digging in this spot here. This stuff is too old, which is really strange for us. We're moving on because it's too old. We're looking for sodas. So this stuff is, uh, you know, I see milk of magnesia. This is probably 1930s. We're looking for more 1950s and 60s because we want the sodas. So we're going to move on from this spot, but a couple cool little finds. Henry Wample. Henry Wample and Co. Bottle and a Lydia Pinkham Medicine. But we find these at our other dump, so on a little perfume or something like that. But we find stuff like this at our other dump, so we're not here for this. We want to find the sodas, so I think we're going to move on from this spot. We're going to go down farther this way, down there, and uh, see if we can find some stuff down there. All right, let's keep digging around for more. Let's go. We have been digging. I'm totally out of breath for like, what, an, over an hour, hour and a half? Yeah. We finally found what we're looking for, our first soda. Let me see. It's Coke. It's been some hard digging. We were digging over here, all the way up here, all in here, all the way over there. And uh, all the, the sodas dried up. We finally found a Coke. All right, it's better than nothing. Cool, cool. It's not focusing. But anyways, let's keep digging for more. Let's Just go. Let's go another soda. Pretty sure it's wishing well. Tell you wanna let us know what it is. Yeah, it? Okay, yeah. yeah wishing yeah. well. Oh, we'll take it, man. It's, it's embossed. Yep. Sweet. Those are usually 1940s. Awesome. Okay. We're back on the sodas. Soda number two on the day. Wicked, wicked. All right. Put that with our other sodas here. All right. Well, we'll keep looking around, keep digging, but it seems to be this is a, a bit of a hot spot here. So we'll, uh, we'll see what else we can get out of here. Because I know yesterday we found a whole crap load of bottles in here. So right here, you figure there's got to be more here. But we dug out over here and we didn't find that much over here. So it's kind of strange why it's just right here. Anyways, we'll keep digging. Let's go. You can see this. I threw it away. Tyler spotted it. Look at that. It's a bottle. There's a lid there. But it's a mouse. <laughs> Never seen a mouse bottle before. Just looking at the, the top there, I would say it's perfume. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Mouse perfume. All right. That is pretty cool. So we found a mouse. And I think... Hold on. Whoa. Hold on here, everybody. Mouse... What else we found? Oh, just a little jar, Estee Lauder, and a spider on my finger. Estee Lauder, and then, uh, oh, hold on, and a jar. It's cork top, so it's got some age to it. So some signs of old stuff here. We kind of gave up. We were digging on the way over here before all those sodas, but they kind of dried up, unfortunately. So we found another spot. We've been kind of digging here and collapsing it all down. And Cool, we found a mouse. All right. Tyler, anything else? 
That's it? Okay, we'll keep digging. Well, Tyler, I think we've come to a, a fork in the road. Get it? Stop. We've come to a fork in the road. He's not laughing, everybody. He's not laughing. We found a fork. We think it could be, could be with silver plated, possibly silver plated. And then we found a, a bottle. We found a Sloan's Liniments. He's just got embossing on it. All the other bottles we've been finding, just all kinds of jars. Jar, 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 one after another. At least this one's got some embossing on it. Sloan's Liniments. And Tyler does not like my fork joke. No. All right, well, let's keep digging around, Tyler. Let's find some more treasure. Let's go. All right, digging away here. And I just popped out something kind of cool. Look at this. Look at that, everybody. Wow. I mean, it kind of looks like perfume-ish is what I'm thinking. But usually when they got ribs on that, it's some kind of a poison bottle. Poison perfume? <laughs> I don't really know. But uh, that is pretty cool. I haven't found anything like that before. That is pretty I wicked. I got this guy cleaned up. Obviously, it's... Uh, I'm, as, well, I'm assuming it's some kind of a perfume. That's what it looks like. But that is a cool looking bottle. Unfortunately, the top was completely corroded and rusted away. But still a nice bottle. All right. I haven't found anything like that before. That is pretty wicked. All right. So I found that. And then just uh, just some common stuff. Um, you know, Tamblin. Good old Tamblin. Some booze bottles. Apparently back in the day, everybody loved their booze. Look at the design on this guy. It's got some embossing there, but I can't really read that, unfortunately. One pint. And then I got another one that was similar to that one as well. It's got some embossing on it, and also says one pint on the on the back. So I'm assuming those are booze bottles, alcohol bottles, and a, a shoe polish bottle. Oops, the cork's still in it. But uh, that is a cool find. I need to keep digging down here and uh, hope to find some more stuff like this. All right, let's keep going. That would have been nice if this was whole. <laughs> They're always busted, though. I found an enamel um, bucket here. So sometimes there's bottles that, that get trapped in these buckets. So we're gonna open this up or dump it out and see what we can find in here. Let's hope for something good. Let's see, let's see. Any treasures? Not looking promising. <laughs> nope. Nothing, not even one thing. That's disappointing. All right, I just uh, found something pretty cool. Check this out. It's like a little mini creamer. I thought maybe the handle was broken off, but there was no handle there at all. So it's just like a little mini creamer, I'm assuming. And it says, uh, ver sorry, verified Wood and Sons, England, supplied by, by Cassidy's Limited. So that is pretty cool. I like that. I don't see cracks, chips, nothing. I'm assuming it's some kind of a creamer. If you know what that is, leave a comment on the video. Let me know. Cool. And also, uh, uh, I found a, uh, one of these uh, Hiram Walker whiskey bottles. Always a nice find. Lots of uh, nice design on that, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's keep digging for more. All right, just dug up a Davis. I don't think I've ever seen, I thought they only came cork top. Didn't realize they actually came uh, screw top. But uh, yeah, old Davis, uh, I think it says painkiller on the side. And I uh, can't really read that, unfortunately, but it's uh, some kind of, a, obviously a painkiller. All right, cool. Davis bottle cleaned up. Yeah, it says uh, vegetable on one side, and it says painkiller on the other side. And Davis on the front. Never seen a screw top one before. That is pretty cool. That's definitely a keeper. All right, I'm back to the video, but it's uh, some kind of a, obviously a painkiller. All right, cool Davis bottle. And then uh, I found a, a nice blue flask. This looks like an evening in Paris uh, bottle. Very nice. Always this. Oh yeah, it says Bourjou. Maybe it's a Bourjou perfume bottle. Always a cool find. And then there's a couple more blues in there. And this looks like a fishing lure. Look at that, you can see eyes, sort of. And then the hooks must have all broken off. What is, I could be wrong, but it looks like an old fishing lure. Probably from the 1930s or 40s. That's something different. And then just a couple pieces of uh, miscellaneous things. There's a buckle, I'm not really sure what the other piece there is. All right, some cool finds. Looks like I'm in a pretty good spot, so I'll keep digging away and uh, find more treasures. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Please leave a public comment on our video. Our public comments help our channel in quite a bit. So much appreciated. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Have a good day, everybody. Thumbs up for awesomeness.